Cody's getting this back panel all worked around. Hillbilly did this little corner. Super nice. He gets a gold star today. So we're gonna prime this tomorrow. Let's show you why we can't pull this body out. Yeah, we're not gonna be taking a bare metal body outside into that stuff. That's why we're doing a little bit of body work, kind of waiting, chilling till it's dry. Then we're gonna wheel it around into the paint shop. You turtle wax your head. Putting final touches on the tail light pan here so we can get it jammed. If weather permitting, let's just roll it to the paint booth. We're getting some fresh bondo down for Hillbilly to sand. We gotta start him on flat straight panels. Only about yay big spots, not yay big. He's still got his training wheels on. Now you sanding your fender? Yeah, sanding my horrible bondo job. It'll turn out to be beautiful. This part's the beautiful part that I've spread. Don't look down here. <laughs> So I learned something new. Make sure you blow the panel off before you spread mud because Cody has to re-spread the mud that I spread because I didn't blow my panel off and so it's just flaking off because of the dust. So now you moved to working on this one? Yep. Only he forgot to blow off part. He got the top blown off, he just didn't blow off the side. But he caught it so we are good to go. So the panel that we were, I learned to blow it off before spreading the Bondo is about done. It's got a couple more spots and it'll be nice and smooth. Okay, we did a skim coat of glaze. We did a skim coat of glaze on this, take care of the deep scratches and a couple of the pinholes in that. Just putting some X down. All right, we'll let that sit for a few minutes and flash off. Then we'll put a second and a third coat on. Tomorrow, we sand it and we jam it. We got this thing primed. All we gotta do is guide coat it. Oh, that's a little heavy. You don't need that much guide coat, that's for sure. <laughs> I just got the point across, that's what that did. That's it for tonight, so it is tomorrow. Cody's hard at work on the body. Hillbilly's over there helping him. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm up to. We gotta go get the Rokon tank out. All these parts are ready to get polyestered. We got the fenders done. Hillbilly did those, and they actually turned out really good. So we're pretty happy with it. See, got it all smoothed up. Didn't really need much here. It's a little bit across the top, a little bit down the back. Turned out awesome. Same thing, feeling good. Got the grill surround, it's all worked out. Smoothed up nice, we got a nice little racetrack right here. We're going to run, that's a nice little bump out. Uh, what we're gonna do on this is polyester it, and then we're gonna seam seal this crack down here so it all flows in nicely and it'll look really good on the front of this. Have these doors all sanded out. These ribs, those were fun. Luckily, I didn't have to do them. Built a custom block, cut down one of our acrylic blocks to fit inside. It's long, it can get things straight and work it all out. We took our Hutchins Hustler and we cut it down to one inch so that it'll fit down inside here. Let's get that Rokon tank out and let's get all these parts over there. Let's do it. Welcome, dinner. <laughs> that was way more dramatic than I had planned on. <laughs> That turned out sweet. That looks really good. Nice. Enough geeking, let's get it out. <laughs> Enough geeking. It's like our little stand held. Yeah, it worked out good. Just wanna look at just, it. Would you just look at it? That looks sick. That look a real good. That looks beautiful. I'm just getting all my edges prepped on this hood so that it's ready to be polyester primed. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on all the other parts, just working all the edges. Before I take them over to the paint booth, sand them all, I'm gonna blow it all off and then get it over to where I just have to mask it up, clean it, and polyester it. This brace wasn't welded on this inner one, so I ran a bead on both sides so we didn't have no vibration and rattling noise. Now I'm just cleaning up the weld so that way it's nice and smooth. thought I was done. Then I remembered that these louvers need sanded out. Whittle. You gotta whittle them. It takes about 30 minutes to sit here and just whittle these. Don't worry, it'll only be five seconds on this video. It's starting to hail out there, guys, so we gotta cover this and get it over there. All right, so Hillbilly, grab some plastic. Let's get this thing plastic and let's get it over there as quick as possible. This is Golden Nugget Week. Why can't Mother Nature just cooperate with us? Dang it. Hiya! It's kinda like a bicycle, make it. It's like a bicycle when you're a kid and you put it in your tire. Vroom, vroom. By the time we get that over in the paint shop, it'll be sunshiny and 85 degrees again. <laughs> okay, we put it back there. Beep. Now take this plastic back off. What a waste of a chunk of plastic for such a short distance. 
I've got a hole here that I need to clean out. So I'm just gonna grab a, a round file and then we're moving on to the doors. All right, on this door, it's pretty decent. I'm just gonna go and catch all the edges. We're not gonna polyester prime down in this little area. I'm gonna sand it, but we're actually gonna back mask it off because it doesn't need anything down in here besides some primer. I'm not gonna go down in this handle pocket. Let's try to be strategic about it. So the polyester primer, what that is is a sprayable filler. We rough out our mud work and then we put sprayable filler on it. It's equivalent to what glaze coat is. So it's gonna take care of all the little imperfections and it's gonna give us material to block down to get these things straight. And then after that, we're gonna final prime it with a urethane primer and then we'll final sand that and paint this thing. This is only the second second video of Shark Week. Hope you guys are enjoying what you're watching. All right, so I got the last of the edges all done on the second door. This one's actually the passenger door now that I look at it. So I'm gonna blow all the stuff off. Dinner's gonna head back over into the paint shop, see what those guys are up to. What are you doing here, Billy? Taping seams off so we can seam seal it. Seam seal it? Yeah. Oh, what are you doing, Cody? I'm just debating on climbing in this on the rotisserie. And make sure it's tight so it don't take you for a ride. Uh, <laughs> hold on tight because it'll be fun. I know it'll be fun. <laughs> you want to try it? No, I'm good. You know, he'll feel like he's on the trails in Sand Hollow. Pounds it to the roof. I've never been to Sand Hollow dinner. So, cameraman's going to hold this, and I'm going to grab the hood. We're going to try to do this to where you guys can see it. Now we'll get the rest of the parts. All right, so we've got one more door that we need to get over in the booth, but it's full of Bondo dust. So we're gonna lay it over here on the stand and then blow it out and then walk it over there. How about I just hold it and you blow it off while I hold it? I got, I got a mask. You sure? Yeah. All right, bring it over here. Let's blow it off. This thing is full of Bondo dust. Close your eyes. We're gonna mask the floor because polyester primer makes a mess. So we're gonna lay out the paper on the ground, paper everything on the stands, position everything, and then we'll clean it. Wax and grease, blow tack and static it, and then polyester primer it. Just like magic, floor is masked. Look at that. All that masking worked me up an appetite. I think it's just about lunch 30. It's dinner time? Well, it's lunch time, but same thing in the big scheme. <laughs> so we're gonna go get some food. So stay tuned. We've got a lot more to pack into this video. Hey, Billy. Yo. What are you doing? Same thing we was doing about 20, 30 minutes ago. Just masking seams for seam sealer. All right, well, are, are you guys, are you guys getting... done yet? No. The internet would have had this done. <laughs> I'm about done with this fun steam. Are you guys getting hungry? Because I think it's lunch time. All right, we're back from lunch. We're gonna mask this all out. Look at that, I'm a juggler. Do two, try it. No. All right, so two and a half hours later, now we're gonna wax and grease this, tack and static all of it, and then we're gonna put the polyester primer down. Then we're gonna go back to working on the body. <gasps> so much to do, we'll work an extra time. All of you that have no idea what this is, this wax and grease remover, it removes waxes and greases and different contaminants on the panel so that we don't have fish eyes and other paint issues when we go to spray. Spray this on, it lifts the contamination and we wipe it off. All right, so we've got all wax and greased. All those contaminants are removed. Me and Hillbilly are gonna head out, mix up the polyester primer. I've got a brand new gun I'm gonna show you guys because it takes a special gun to spray this. This is like spraying filler, like that you normally spread with a spreader. So that tip is like the size of my pinky. That's small. I know, but it's huge in gun size. I think I'll guard those. All right, so we got our brand new poly gun, Seta Jet 100 BP for polyester. Check this thing out. We got a nozzle, what a humongous tip. It is a 2.5. It's huge, that's all I know. So, this is what we use to do spray polyester. So, this is 100 parts polyester primer to two parts hardener. We're weighing it out on the scale so that we hit it just right. You don't want to screw this up. Blow it, tack it, static control it. It's time. We're gonna put down the polyester primer on everything. Thank you. 
All right, so I got the first coat down. We're gonna wait 10 to 15 minutes and put a second coat on. Then we're gonna do a guide coat and I'll show you guys what that looks like when we get to that point. So right, right now I'm running the seam sealer and the purpose of the, uh, taping the seams off is so when we spread it, get it nice and flat. And when we move the tape, it's nice. Looks like it's factory, nice and pretty and everything. So now that I got the seam sealed on all the seams, or not, I don't got it on all seam sealed right now, but I got most of it done, so I'm peeling the tape off so the seam seal doesn't keep the tape on and end up peeling up all this fresh seam seal once it's hardened. Nice, pretty crisp line. I've got my last coat put down, so now I'm gonna put a guide coat, coat over it. What I've done is I've tinted it, so you can see the difference. This is what the polyester primer looks like. This is the tinted primer. So that's gonna be my last coat. It's gonna act as a guide coat. So when we go to sand it off, this will show all the imperfections. Just one last step, what I do when we do full panels like this. Check out how it changes it. All right, so we've got it all guide coated. Polyester primer is on all the parts. It turned out good. So after this, we'll block it all down. Then we'll put actual primer, so urethane product, over top of it. Then we'll prep that all down with 600, and then we'll be spraying gold. Still hard at it, it seems to you. <laughs> but it looks like. Should we use this as Big Dinner's hair gel? Comment below if you think we should. How's it coming? Good. I'm about down at the top. Just got this door jam, last door jam to do, and then a couple little welds on that side. And then well, I'm just about done, so I'll come and help. I'll help you do the bottom. I'm just getting a few little last seams, and then we are moving on to the underside. Got it. All right, so we've got the entire inside all seam sealed. Everything from basically the windows down is sealed up, just like it was from factory. So now we're gonna flip this body, and we're gonna seam seal the underside. Seam seal the welds where Paul had to uh, modify the doghouse for the tranny and motor. Now Billy's just brushed in the last little bit, and we're gonna let it sit overnight, dry, and we're painting it in the mountain. So when you paint it, are you gonna leave it like that? So I'll do it like this, then I'll flip it to the other side, get the whole bottom, and then I'll get the firewall. It's gonna be gold. Awesome. All right, so we've got everything seam sealed. Me and Hillbilly and Dinskinator. Ready? It's getting late. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Guess what we're doing tonight? Movie night. Taking our wives on dates, because they deserve it. We'll be back tomorrow. It is another day. We're back here working on the Golden Nugget body. The plan is to paint the inside and underside of the Golden Nugget and the firewall. All right, all the parts are done. Parts are cured out from all the polyester primer, so we're just gonna pull them out, wheel this body in, get the rotisserie all masked, and then we're gonna start epoxying. So that little hopscotch over this ramp brought out a lot of sand. Dinner's gonna grab the air blower. We're gonna try to blow it out of the booth. Now we're gonna start the process of getting this thing jammed out. By the end of the week, this will be back on the frame. All we have to do after that, the final body work on the outside, final prime it and paint it. So thanks for your patience. We're doing it as quick as we can. Look what Demery found. More Laffy Taffy. What do you call a picture of a bookcase? A Shelby. <laughs> a Shelby. Nice. What does a ghost call their partner? A ghoul? My boo. Oh. <laughs> My boo. That was close. Well, put these in our stash. I don't want them. So two and a half hours later, I'm ready to wax and grease. So I've got to go inside, outside, top, bottom, everything. It's going to be a little bit of a process. We'll show you the first little bit, and then I'll just get it all done. So with huge projects like this, I like to break them into sections so it doesn't seem so big. So I'm using this microfiber because it doesn't lint. And this is still pretty rough, so I don't want lint to come off of it. So we've got it all waxed and greased. Hillbilly came in to help me out. It's our day off. He was willing to come in and help me. As we're epoxying it, we gotta spin it. So he's gonna help support that. Next, we're gonna blow tack and static it. Get this thing ready for epoxy. All right, we're doing something a little different. We're gonna tag team this, literally. I got Hillbilly with the two quart pressure pot attached to his belt. I've got the gun. We're gonna epoxy this sucker. We gotta stay close together because the hose is only three feet long. Wish us luck. This is a big job. Whoa! And have to adjust the gun. Oh, did I ever mention I've never used a pressure pot before?
All right, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna actually rotate the body. We're gonna do as much underside, inside, through as we can. Then we'll switch it over to the other side and get all the spots we missed. Sweet. It's looking good for the first coat. Now I'm gonna go inside. A lot to do in there. This is sweet. You can get it everywhere. We're gonna rotate this the other way, just make sure we got all the spots and let it flash for 15 minutes. So we've got our first coat of epoxy all put on, took a little while, there's a lot of nooks and crannies. I'm gonna let it flash for 15 minutes, put a second coat on, then I gotta wait an hour before I can put any base coat on it. On the video, it'll be two seconds. First gallon down. We got two more gallons. We've gotta paint the outside of the nugget, we gotta paint the Rokon, and we gotta paint the trailer. Our first super expensive gallon is gone. Get this mixed up, get it in the gun, and we're gonna get this thing gold. It's that time. Time to make the inside and the underside gold. I'm not used to spraying base coat with a pressure pot, so I'm figuring out how to adjust it while I'm spraying it. All right, so we've got the majority of the underside first coat down. We're gonna flip it to the other side so that I can get all the underside finished and then I'm going on the inside. We're about halfway through the inside. We're gonna go fill back up, come back in and shoot it all. And then we'll have the first coat done. All right, so I've got the first coat down. It took about an hour to spray all this just because it's so tedious. You gotta spin it and move it in the right position, but it's looking good. So I'm gonna let this flash off for about 10 to 15 minutes and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna put the second coat down. Then we're gonna be putting on the clear coat and really bringing this color to life. 12 hours later, we're ready for clear. We've got it all cleared up, we've got two coats, it's looking awesome. We're on hour 15. So two of us working 15 hours, it's a lot of work, but it's sure paying off. This looks awesome. So we're headed home. We need to talk. What are we telling? Yeah. All right, last video. We spammed you with infomercials. We were trying to be funny. Apparently it didn't come off very comical, like we thought it would. We're sorry. To those of you that sold our hats out and bought all the shirts and stickers and patches, thank you. You literally just supported the channel for an entire month. The Golden Nugget build is expensive, but with your guys' help, it really lightened the load to where we don't have to focus so hard on trying to come up with money to pay for this. You guys helped. Thank you. All right, so we've been super busy this last week. We've gotten a ton of stuff done. All those hundreds of hours have finally paid off. We've got a super expensive paint on the inside of the nugget. We cannot wait to spray the outside, but that's in another video. As always, we appreciate you guys. If you like this video, go check out this video.